Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to the American Republic in Empire Total War. We are well on our way towards peace in Europe. Our only remaining war is with Sweden, who is actually indifferent to us. I'm going to keep offering them state gifts and hope that uh, they'll be willing to settle that war pretty soon. There we go. A nice horse for you. Now we did give Prussia um, Cologne here. That is the territory, not the perfume. If I'm pronouncing it right, which is a good chance that I'm not. Um, our troops Sir. have had to do a tactical Orders? retreat. Sir. Now we need to meet back up. Sir. Your orders? Onward! Let's bring this army Setting north and yes. all of these new troop recruitments down Order! south to meet up with them. For crown and, country. and with that, we almost have another army good to go. Sir. Uh, where were you line infantry supposed to go? At the ready. March! Your humble sir. To the Netherlands with you, I guess. You guys don't actually need replenishment here. But Rudolf Armstrong, you are one of our best generals right now. I want you on a ship and ready to invade Denmark. We have a global trading company right here. I'm going to raid it instead of uh, damaging it. I'm going to move my fleet up here to continue my piracy against the Swedish Navy. There they are right there with a pretty reasonable fighting force. Only three third rates. Some Razés, some Sloops, some Briggs, a second rate, and a heavy first rate. Not too extreme, even for Darth Maud. And they have an army on board right there. I've lowered my taxes back home. I'm going to leave them like that for just a bit longer. few traits gained for our spies and our preachers too. Yes. All right, who else can I spare to come back with me? Get ready for that invasion of Denmark. This line of infantry if I can click on him there. There we go. Join our army over here at Bavaria. I tingle with anticipation. And we have a gentleman here, too. Mm -mm. Let's send you up here to one of the Prussian universities. Try and steal some technology. I don't think I've done that at all in this series. Do they have a college somewhere? I'm looking. Cloth mill, cloth mill. Everybody's doing industry. That's what I like to do, for sure. There's a seminary. College of Divinity. Steam Engine Factory, Steam Engine Factory. College of Divinity. Classical University, there you are. Steel Research. It'll take a few turns to get there. So what I'll do here is I'm going to pull at least one of these armies back. Ready and waiting order. I'm going to say that I'm going to pull General Dare back right here to get ready to load up onto ready. our fleets. Mark. And I'm going to pull General Wheeler forward to help protect uh, Munich, which Onward. we took. Anything more? And I think that was the last uh, battle with Austria before we actually were able to end that war. Yes, sir. Finally. 
And here in Amsterdam, I'm going to replace that college, which we no longer need, with a craft workshop to get some money coming in right there. Let's check on our base in Iceland. Let's go ahead and get that dry dock going. Oh, and we're out of funds. Not enough to build our commercial docks just yet. Okay. Let's go back home here. How big are these Swedish fleets? They're pretty big. We're going to need two fleets to get rid of them for sure. Not as bad as Austria's cheating first rate stack though. Insane. Where are my navies? Okay, Europe. That's not surprising. Caribbean. There you guys are. Oh, replenishment is greatly needed right there. Oh, that fleet's full too. Hmm. Well, there goes a bunch of our cash. We have a lot of first rates at least. Charleston, the Unbent. <laughs> the USS Govna, haven't seen you in a while. The Black Hills and the Dunkirk. And the Peacefield. Adding to that, we have the USS Nathaniel Green, the Narcissus, the Triton. Uh, wow, we have some complicated names here. Still not quite enough first rates to go up against uh, Sweden's fleets just yet. And it looks like we lost the option to trade with France. They hadn't accepted our trade agreement yet. That might mean that they're having a port blockaded. Are they at war with anybody? Austria. Oh, and Prussia. And Spain. Eh. Come on, France. Yes. I worked really hard to put you in a position of power. Don't throw it all yes, away. Sir. Immediately. I'm going to pop this army in the star fort, seeing the capital is content enough on its own. I really ought to pull one of these navies back to get ready to receive troops. Oh, here we go. That fourth rate can actually carry troops once we get up there, so that'll do. I'll have these guys just hold the line. It is a sizable Swedish force in the dock, though. And three stacks on the capital. If I go raiding around the countryside, they might sally out to meet me, though. We'll see how things go in uh, summer of 1842. This could get interesting. Prussia is demanding another territory from me, and they're offering technology in exchange. That's probably preceding another declaration of war.
Finally, now that we're in the summer, our income has gone back up once again. Let's build a steam-powered cloth mill here in the Algonquin Territory. We have a new governor's residence in Iceland. Let's upgrade that immediately to the military governor's encampment. I want maximum recruitment here in Iceland. Go ahead and get some militia going there. Commercial basin. What is Iceland earning us now? 1566 per turn. Not bad. Men. Further orders. And Go. they appear to have embraced our rule too. Ready for order. That's a nice military outpost for American forces. Oh, it looks like France has lost Paris to Spain once again. As much as I would like to help them, I'm going to stay out of this unless Spain declares war. I guess I'll upgrade this iron workshop as well. I'm not sure how long I'm going to hold on to these territories though. What do you require? Let's keep my gentleman going towards Prussia's university right there. Ooh, hello new ships. And our income is projected to go up again next turn. That's interesting. By quite a lot. And lots of traits for our gentlemen, our spies, and our government. Our government popularity is at 70%. Not bad. Let's kick out our attorney general, though. He's not very experienced. Oh, hello. It's one of the highest ranked cabinet members I've ever seen. That's really going to help out with repression. The cost of town watch. Awesome. Let's take a look at what new ships we have here. The Pennsylvania. The... Hecla? What a weird name. We actually don't have a ship named after our main naval yard yet. So let's call you the USS Norfolk. There we go. We also have the Fearless, the Defiant, the Congress and a few of our others from last turn. Let's build one more heavy first rate, which will get rid of our money entirely. So let's actually cancel that cloth mill and top this navy off. Another first rate, and we'll do, let's see, a carronade frigate. That's a quick way to burn through some serious cash. There's no way that these AI factions are truly supporting these ridiculous fleets. These guys need a bit of replenishment and repairs still. I don't quite have enough to make it. So I'm going to leave them in dry dock for now. Right there down south. Sweden, you are indifferent. Will you accept peace? They're asking for Panama in exchange for a trade agreement. Who are they at war with? Us and the UK. They're trade partners with Austria, and with Spain, and with Prussia. That's, that's too strong of an alliance. I don't want to give them any territory that's near Austria, like any of these captured territories down here. Quest, peace, and trade agreement. Okay, 
They're not interested right now. I don't really have any money to offer them. Send this cannon up as well. What I'm going to do in that case is get as many of these armies onto a ship as quickly as possible. General Armstrong and your army load up on our single All ship orders. here. All the way. Sir. Oh, Onward. something went wrong there. Orders. Load up. Forward. There we are. And we can actually land you right here in Sweden's Naval Hospital. So in one turn, we have invaded Denmark, officially. I think that one ship can continue to ferry troops. Is anybody else within range? Uh, not quite. But who else is experienced over here? We have lots of new generals here. Hmm. David Palmer. And forward. Load up. March. Let's go ahead and save here, seeing the game is trying to Sir. stutter on me. Your orders. General Armstrong. Attack. Seize the palatial estate. And that's our last movement for this turn. At least for that army. Let's get our next one in line here. Enemy sail. Run up the colors. Disembark. And we'll have you seize their steam engine factory up here. Still plenty of movement range on this single fourth rate that's escorting what I would imagine to be a horde of transports as they transport our troops. Who else can I spare? We're getting a bit spread out here, but we have peace technically at the moment. And yes. seeing General Deer is almost back to Amsterdam. Humble servant. Ready and there's plenty of other reinforcements in the area. Let's send General Littleton March. over to Denmark as well. This is one very organized naval invasion. Forward. Sir. March. All hands on deck! All hands on deck! I think I will stop at three armies though. I don't want to spread myself too thin in case Austria and Prussia decide to declare war again. And Spain is openly hostile still as well. And they're allies with Austria and the Italian states. So if Spain declares war again, I'll be at war with Austria once again. I'm not too worried about Spain. They're decently powerful, but I've beaten them so many times before, I'm confident that I could do it again without too much difficulty. This last army. Let's go right to your university. And burn it down. I'll send that fourth rate back to the harbor. Dragoons back to occupy Make there. Ready. Line infantry Fire join the main line. army. March. Actually, go to the capital. Yes, sir. All you guys to the capital. And just for good measure, let's take our fleet here. Beat to 
and burn their port thoroughly. We still have an estimated 37,000 gold of income next turn. Let's actually look at their defenses real quick. Oh, hello. Three stacks and an undefended star fort. I can't tell troop strengths, but they might be injured. Now that army is full strength. And this one is smaller, but uninjured. Orders, so Norway is not a soft target by any means, but I really don't feel like fighting the fort battle here in Denmark. I think we're going to have to, though. Another battle that I don't want to have to fight is the one off of the coast of Maryland here, uh, just south of Philadelphia. That is a nasty set of Swedish naval forces. But I think within a few turns we're going to have enough naval power to challenge them in open combat. So that could get really, really interesting here. For now, in the summer of 1842, I'm going to call this turn over. Thankfully that was a mostly quiet turn, at least for us. Our craft workshops here in the Netherlands are complete. Let's upgrade them to a weaver's cottage. One of our creatures has gained some zeal. I'm barely even paying any attention to these guys. A new nation arises, Georgia. They have declared their independence from the Ottoman Empire, I believe. Sweden remains indifferent to us. Those gifts definitely helped, even though we are invading Denmark right now. We have two technology advances. Percussion cap and top gallants. That leaves us with what? Classical economics and basically nothing else. It looks like mass production becomes available to research after uh, classical economics. But we have a bunch of universities just sitting there doing nothing already. Trade gained. Armchair general for one of our researchers. Okay, Iceland. Let's keep those troops coming. I want to send this army on to mainland as soon as we can. Uh, mainland Europe. Palatial estate. Let's top off this damaged navy down here. Fleet ready! Yes, ready and waiting. Make ready! I'll make room for the new ships here. We'll get everybody repaired in the same turn. Officer on deck. 
and the USS Peacefield, the Dunkirk, and the Black Hills will guard the harbor. So that stack of ships is actually already complete. They're full to the brim. And we only have one more option for this fleet. So I really don't need to recruit anything else. I'll recruit a third rate and a second rate just to help with our losses because uh, we are going to have some from this naval battle for sure. Let's build a pleasure garden. Just because we have the money for it, basically. Steam powered cloth mill. And that should do it for our expenses Make ready. Uh, economically for this turn. We've got about 4,000 gold left. Bavaria can build a new building from where I demolished their college. I'll build a craft workshop. I feel like I should almost be giving France some money right now. It looks like they're trying to take Paris back, but Spain has too many full stacks up here. Sir. Ready for order. Yes, sir. Ready for order. Anything more? Oh, you guys were not replenishing. Immediately. In position. Well, Prussia seems to be jealously guarding their new territories, but I need to focus on Denmark. I can raid that trade route. I bet that would actually be pretty productive. Currently earning 26,000. Well, maybe that wouldn't help. That's odd. I'm going to stack my Onward. troops up right here and see what Ready happens if on. I attack. I'm going to do a save here just because in Empire it's very difficult to see when your armies are correctly set up to reinforce and this is a very awkward terrain shape. Prepare for war. Italians ready. Ready Looks like we can't on. move much further with that army. Let's try this one. Attack. Okay, cool. We do actually outnumber them, 3 to 1. I think the city has fort defenses though. Even though we haven't fought a battle this uh, episode, I don't want to fight a fort battle. They're really just uh, not fun. Improved settlement fortifications. Yeah, really not feeling a fort battle. Let's auto-resolve this. Great victory for us. We don't have money to replenish just yet. But maybe we can scare this Swedish Navy out of harbor soon. They're most likely getting a bit nervous at this point. There still is a Swedish army that appears to be untouched for some reason. Hopefully I'll be able to fight them uh, in the next turn. Let's go ahead and end things and see what happens. It looks like Prussia is now requesting Iceland. I'm not sure why they would even want that. Our populations are quite friendly toward each other though. I hope they don't just declare war randomly.
first things yes. first, let's get our gentleman into this university. No one uh -huh. Steel Thank research. Uh, 7% chance for classical economics. Why not? One of our missionaries has died down here in the south. And we have a new agent here in the Iroquois territory. And this preacher has lost some zeal. And with that, our navies should be ready to go here. Ooh, it looks like one of Sweden's navies has sailed away. Orders received and understood. Let's take one of these weaker ships, one of these third rates. We'll do the, um, the Anne. Let's pull you out. Make room for the first rate, the Captain. An interesting name for sure. Okay. I think we're about ready for this naval battle, guys. This is going to be a nasty one. Let's take this fourth rate Orders off the fleet. Ready. We need to make room for three ships. Take the fox out. And who else? The Carolina as well. Still ship shape. And we will put you guys within reinforcement range. Just out of reach. And now, aye, aye, sir. we should be good to go for the attack. Just for careful maneuvering, I am going to quick save once again. I really like in Attila and uh, Rome 2 how you get little markers to show who's going to reinforce who. They shall sleep with the fishes. There we go. All of our fleets are in position to reinforce each other. Let's protect the American coast and get rid of these Swedish fleets once and for all. At long last, America is finally a player on the international naval battle scene. I'm going to divide my first rates into two sets. The Black Hills, the Unbent, and the Govna. They will be group one. The wind is in our favor. Our next run will be the Dunkirk, the Peacefield, and the second-rate Archer. For our third rates, let's do the Republic, the Warrior, and the Coast Watcher. Let's add our Admiral to that as well. That leaves the Charleston and a couple of second rates for group four. There we go. And of course our rocket ship right in the middle. Who got left out here? John Paul it looks like. Something went strange there with the grouping. I'm going to put my rocket ship right on their heavy first rate there. 
I can't imagine how much money is about to be lost, uh, both in monetary value of the ships and the lives lost. Now that's interesting, the peace field has a unique texture. And of course, reinforcing, we already have more ships coming in from behind here. Ooh, and off to the side as well. I'm going to speed things up until we get closer to the actual fighting here. It looks like one of their steamships, perhaps I think their only steamship, is closing the gap between our two fleets a little bit early here. I'm going to try to swing around and get some broadsides off. Already getting some hits in. That is a beautiful steamship. And it looks like she might get the first broadside. I don't think my first rate can fire. Nope. Dunkirk and the Coast Watcher are both getting some broadsides off at distance. Next up is the Unbent. And she is on fire. A significant hull damage already. Looks like their Razés and their 5th rates are coming out to engage our 3rd rates. Ooh, Enterprise. Uh, throw down anchor and hold fire. Looks like her sails caught fire when our rocket ship got a quick burst off there. Everyone else appears to be sailing into the correct area, so I'm just going to let them be. They have quite a few brigs coming forward here. Looks like their first rates are trying to stay clustered together. pull our third rates away just a bit. The Enterprise is still on fire. And the Dunkirk is now on fire just a little bit. Lost a corner of some sail right there. She's going to ram a few of these smaller Swedish ships. Ooh, 
Nice broadside. You're gonna pay for that, though. Oh, the Swedish ship explodes under the broadside. Drop anchor and hold fire, though. You are very damaged after that explosion. Wow. Here comes the rocket ship. Nice hit on that cluster. All three on fire. All four on fire. Group one, where are you guys going? Come down here and join the fight already. Not looking good for these carronade frigates. Lots of flame. Gotta love that rocket ship. Our heavy first rate, the Dunkirk, is up front and taking a beating right there. More good rocket hits. Another heavy first rate on fire. And our third rates are making some good distance right here. Let's keep that going. There's the Nathaniel Green way back there. Ooh, a rocket ship taking a broadside there. There we go. Now she's on fire, big time. Wow, her whole deck is on fire. Men are jumping overboard in panic. She's completely surrendered with one hit from our rocket ship. And the second heavy first rate has a bunch of sails on fire. Wow. Those rocket hits have just been perfect. The Dunkirk, it looks like, is going to have to be pulled out of line. She's holding up the rest of the movements here. All that hull damage. I'm going to keep bobbing and weaving my third rates to keep these heavy first rates at bay. Oh, one of our carronade frigates has been lost. No, a Swedish one. And another Swedish ship goes up in flames thanks to the explosion. Their fleet is in full pursuit, but getting hit hard from behind. This is more of a chase than an actual battle at this point. Are they going to lose the entire heavy first rate? There go all of her sails. It's a firestorm. And she explodes, setting the next heavy first rate on fire as well. Wow. Our rocket ship has 
definitely saved some American lives today. What a price for the Swedish to pay, though. I'm gonna have all of my third rates try to switch to uh, chain shot here and take out these first rate sails before they get any closer. Our heavy first rates are having a hard time catching up, and our rocket ship hits the first rate again, causing her to surrender. It's like we packed the rockets with napalm today or something. Good grief. Let's make you guys group two. Form up and head this way as quickly as possible. Those heavy first rates are getting awfully close. Come on, man, hit their sails, hit their sails. They're gaining so quickly. Musket shots going back and forth now as well. Enterprise, go ahead and catch up this direction. And catch up this direction. Fourth rate. And do what you can. Our third rates are going to get hit hard here. Let's go ahead and just turn and meet them. That's going to hurt. But their sails are open. And more rockets coming from behind. Beautiful. I'm going to have the Republic and the Warrior break away at full speed. While the Coast Watcher tries to hold the line here. Coast Watcher's getting hit hard. But she's occupying both first rate ships of the line. And here come some more rockets. Good fire on board this second rate. Looks like the front mast and front sails are on fire, and she is surrendered. Looks like we are going to lose the Coast Watcher. She's not going to be able to get away, but the Republic uh, and the Warrior are making their escape thanks to her sacrifice. Let's not turn them quite yet, actually. Let's just go ahead and keep them going. Our first rates are finally starting to get close. Well, maybe not.
<laughs> looks like this Swedish brig has surrendered and is now getting pushed aside by our rocket ship and the USS Peacefield. Get out the way! Missed the explosion, but that second rate has exploded in half and completely sank. Our Admiral's third rate is exchanging fire with another Swedish third rate. And I'm going to drop anchor right here and just exchange some shots at distance. Our other third rates have definitely made their escape at this point. Let's start coming back around to join the attack uh, here shortly. The Coast Watcher has surrendered, but she is going to sink. Let's break these first rates out of formation and just get them uh, spread out some so they can raise their sails as much as possible and hopefully anticipate where the Swedish are going to shift their forces. Ah, this Swedish brig is trying to intercept our rocket ship here, getting a few shots off. But the peace field is about to make contact. Charleston, come on over here as well. I'm gonna actually have the Dunkirk withdraw. She is very, very damaged. And there goes some rockets. Two fires on both of the first rates. Beautiful. And one of them is demasted. The last mast right there in the back. Completely overboard. I'm gonna have the John Paul Jones fall back here before these first rates get any closer. Yeah, the John Paul Jones has taken some damage. Let's switch off. Our rocket ship is getting the hang of this for sure. And one of their brigs is routing. This third rate is stubbornly holding on here, trying to fall back. Let's break off before we hit those first rates again by ourselves. With just these third rates. Yep, 
They can run, but they can't outrun my rocket ship. Filthy cowards. Blockade American ports for like 15 years and then won't stand up and fight. Their sails are very damaged. And there's the unbent firing a nasty long range broadside against the Swedish third right here. Who is on fire and wavering. Speaking of fire, here come more rockets. Not a great hit, but they're still having to put out fires all along the ship. And there goes the Govna, firing on the third rate and causing it to rout and most likely surrender, I'm going to say, any second now. Let's speed things up just a bit. It's just a matter of time at this point. Wait, our sinking third rate is now on fire. That's horrible. And she has exploded. I imagine not many survivors could survive all those flying, burning splinters. It's a nasty way to go. One of their first rates has surrendered and is on fire. Like I said guys, it's just a matter of time at this point. We're gonna win a pretty complete victory with no actual losses, I don't think. No major losses at least. That third rate still will not surrender. And here come more rockets. Govna, drop anchor. Let the unbent get just ahead of you. I want you guys to come forward here. Switch to chain shot and a round shot, respectively. Oh no, the surrendered first rate is now on fire. She was too close to her sister ship. It's a lot of fiery death in this battle. Oh, man. Now, if that doesn't shake you to your core, I don't know what will. Decisive victory. We deployed 32 ships against Sweden's blockade of 14. We did lose one. I can't remember which one. One of the third rates, possibly? We have 32 left. Uh, the Swedish lost seven, and we have captured the survivors. We're going to sell the brig and keep a few others. Actually, they're all destroyed. We'll keep the third rate. And sell the rest. Let's see what that opens up for our economy. Right after I quick save. There we go. 52,000. There is our income right there, guys. 
our ports are open and the trade goods are flowing. I think I saved a brig and not the third grade that I was planning on saving. Oh well. All naval forces go back to docks to be repaired. And let's break off a third rate, or not a third rate, a heavy first rate, yes, Captain. Still ship shape. to join this fleet to stay near the coast. Orders, Captain. Orders received and understood. We have some additional command when attacking at sea. Plenty of plus one commands. 28,000 gold too. Sweden is now very unfriendly with us once again after losing that battle. Serves you guys right for that decades long, I think, blockade of our ports. So we are flush with fresh gold. It's time to get replenishment going and return to the war here in Denmark. That's going to have to wait until next time though guys. We are definitely out of time for this episode. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time.